we're gonna do is we're gonna divert water from this point. Make the bottom run back to this low point from the driveway. We're gonna make water come down this way. For sure, gotta have the smart tools out for this one. As always, hope everyone's doing well and staying positive. So we're going to be removing about 1,600 square feet of concrete. We're going to replace it with concrete. It's going to be a broom finish. The good thing about this concrete is that it's about 50, 60 years old. Most of it's two or three inches and it has no rebar. So with the Bobcat MT55, as you can see here, we just kind of get under the concrete, lift it up a little bit, and it just breaks apart. We also got a Boss jackhammer out here that makes light work of it as well. A little tricky here. Here, it's an old school garage. We got different elevations back here. So, the bottom of here is going to be a new grade. We get the water out. So, from this garage here, the water is going to go to right here, which is a low point. The water in this square where you see that two by four at, all that water is going to come kind of at a slight angle. It's going to hit this low point. Slow point, we're going to put a catch basin in here and maybe a dry well system in here for the water. That part of the driveway, the first stake by the stream, that water is going to come back here and hit this as well. From there, it's going to go forward and out. Okay, so now that we got this back formed up, in this area, we're gonna put some concrete pavers. Still quite haven't figured out the design with it, but we're gonna run it by the homeowners once we get it together. Next up is gonna be some base rock, and then we're gonna get to rebar. As with any concrete driveway or slab, you want to make sure you add base rock. You can think of the base rock as a subfloor for concrete. You guys probably remember early in the video I was giving an explanation on how the drainage was going to run. Well, we ended up making the drainage run, I'm sorry, we ended up making a water run from the garage straight to the street. We probably have a 0.5 to a 1% drop. Ended up using about a hundred pieces of number four rebar for this project. All rebar was 16 inches on center. It's pretty typical for our driveways. Be sure to check the video out at the end. It's another concrete pour we did was a crazy drainage situation, but our expertise made it happen. Now, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you can hit us up. The link is in the description below. Everyone else, make it a good one. Appreciate your time. And also remember, it's cool to ask for help and hang around people that are positive. Also, hit that like button. It helps out the channel big time. Greatly appreciate it.